going to make the font size bigger than MT4? There probably is. There was a shell years ago, and it was beautiful. And I would have paid money for it, but it was only available per computer. So it was 150 bucks, I think, or it was 50 bucks a month, but it looked gorgeous. And it was the first algorithmic platform where you could just set up like three schemes and just go, okay, let her go. Like real quick and dirty, kind of like um, Trade Station's easy language, so to speak. So I knew I knew Trade Station e easy language, and I built the paint bar, which gave birth to the uh, paint cloud. I call it my cloud trading, which is a uh, the the slowest moving average I think is five. If you wanted to stretch the cloud out, but I see people putting clouds in that are so away from the beat. Let's say, you know, if the market has this rhythm as it's congesting in a triangle it's a very unique decay uh, and then it gets perked up by something or it's it's stacking up on either side there's tickets stacking up and the market breaks away and it just crashes into these zones so having schemes for those trades so um, the font's a problem because I'm running my monitors at 720 so I can have an, um, a really barish looking bar that's squared off. I'm counting on the pixelation. It's in my favor. I thought that was the whole point of charting. Now everybody's got these high def monitors. Yeah, and your font's fucking tiny. So you got to tell Windows, give me 200%, and then you got to go to 720 and force your, uh, you know, watch movies on something else, I guess, if you want high res. I, although, you know, I'm just looking for a clunky, um, the, the first charts I ever saw were like that, and they just seemed very easy to decipher. Like, it was high, low, close. It wasn't the open. Okay, Well, the open was there, but this body on the MT4, the wicks are, are you can't even see them. And then when you compress a chart, it's going to turn into a bar chart. Then it's going to just turn into a tick chart. If you zoom all the way out on MT4 platform. So, yeah, there's fancier stuff out there. You could also go and have another chart just for looking at charts, not trading charts, right? This is an execution program primarily because you can see the tickets come in. You can verify the arrows come in. Um, I had something strange happen earlier where my computer goes to sleep, Windows, and it kind of starts another version. And I could actually have been running two versions of the MT4 without even knowing it because they were just like, the computer could do it, so it did it. And uh, when I hit double click, I wasn't getting filled, and I thought, that's a demo, it's overseen. So I, I reboot, that's ah, fucking cleaned it right up. So when Windows goes to sleep on a laptop, you nearly have to restart Windows. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty clunky, but, you know, I know what's going on. Um, for me, it's easy to figure out, but, you know, the new versions, and then, of course, then MT4 stopped working on Windows XP, so... I couldn't run the old versions, the old version. It used to auto-update, and then you'd have to go grab, and then the auto-update came back on. So now there's auto-update, I think, and um, it's funny. There's auto, there's there's this update and that update, you know. Um, so I can't keep track. I mean, I don't really want to have to keep track. Uh, it's too much. So, but the question's valid, you know. Why aren't I selling at the seller's window? Because uh, this other guy answers it um, pretty good. Uh, about it's psychologically uh, a, uh, it's a mindset like right so if you're driving forward in your car and you're only able to make forward moves you plan for that now if you want to reverse it, there's perfectly good times when you should be able to back up on your entrance ramp you think you know what nobody's behind me I fucked up can I back up you know there's no do-over in traffic so I'm treating it as a market flow issue and uh, you stop me out for five I come back with 12 you know I mean because even if I'm short, I can make the same argument. Why don't you get long? You're short. Why don't you, why don't you cash out and not go long? Because to think about accumulating something when it's cheap or it could get cheaper and there's a cheapest and you know exactly the cheapest and you're scaling in so you don't feel like you're missing out because you're buying 1K at a time, that's the answer for you being uncomfortable watching your equity swing in giant things so if you can thread the needle on all these one k's and you can still survive and pick whichever currency and just focus on one right before you start renting hookers by the hour first try one girl see if you like girls <laughs> right you may not like trading 
to me it's like you can't get, you can't have more fun and then it's like watching people try to apply their utopian fucking nonsense to it it's just it's it's adorable it's like when uh, bobby fisher lost his mind and, and said shit like yeah 9-11 is a good thing so everybody has the capacity to just drive it off a cliff i suppose right um you know the trading thing yeah you can make a you can make a ton of money uh very quickly but of course these opportunities come around rarely so overall you can see at the end of the week look i made a thousand dollars sure i was down 700 then i was up 2000 then i was down 300 by the end of the week you're up 1500 do you consider yourself a good trader i mean you were down a thousand and now you're up uh 2000 and then you you're down 700 now you're up 1400 so every time you get hit you can double it back also that includes you having some eight to one ratios com combined with the high probability get her done tickets you know you just got a uber server you just it, like your cab's only good for 100 miles you can't go that deep in the market you can't have shit laying out there and so yeah i could also say um i'd rather uh, buy the dollar to the swiss as it's dropping against my um euro so if you really wanted to get into a a hand hand over to the other team uh, because another thing i wrote so many buy limits i wrote like ten thousand buy limits and i only wrote about a thousand cells or style cells i have sell at the market i have sell stops i have sell limits but i don't have anything like that compared to the long side because it was easier to think about letting the market come a little bit deeper and still saying, is it, can I um, trade a high probability 20 pip slam down where they take out the previous day low or the previous week low and you can see what it looks like on the one minute chart and you remember what that looks like. Especially if you're big enough to make it matter, and then you say, "Oh, yeah, that's the that's the scalper's window. They're going to come in there, they're going to grab that fresh vacuum, and it's not that they're going to do it. The price is going to pop into a fresh vacuum, and it's going to come back out because it's it's over, right? There is nobody willing to sell that any lower. There, there must be something that causes the reversal. I'm thinking it's order imbalance. There's more buyers than sellers, right? So people are chasing it right at that turning point. They're retrace, they're, the retracement is like the exact tick law, whatever that is, maybe in a one and a half pip window. Around the world, maybe it's a five pip window. There's a lot, a lot of lag stuff. Um, so, you know, if you can trade that, yeah, right? And, of course, maybe you need a, a, a faster server to watch your orders get filled so you know that margins freed up it's not i think that you're trying to get a better price because we all know that if you just wait one minute the price is going to change so it could be in your favor or against uh if you're if it goes up do you jump in and grab it or when it goes up do you say wow that's pretty good i'm waiting for a pullback so you're either going to jump in the next jump rope j rope jump right if you're literally going to pull everything on one ticket and scale out of that first entry you could do that but that doesn't make sense you should be buying five pips apart uh in a in a stack that lasts like four hours i mean if you really like that price or anything near they would just leave that stack and walk away but if you get in the, your whole 40k on one trigger pull and put a wide stop in now you don't have any kind of you you haven't taken advantage of the fact the market could go down <laughs> So you're you're just blowing up the whole idea of making money. You're trying to be like, I'm getting in this fucking Fibonacci 618. Really? You you got to be kidding me. I missed my entry by two pips. What the fuck are you kidding me? You had this perfectly good opportunity, but no, you had your arms folded. It, 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 really? That's your filter? So I don't have that view. I'm let's let's I'm like, let's hit this thing. Come on, let's do, we live once. You how long are you waiting to pull the trip? Well, I have to back test somewhere. Dude, get the fuck out of your mom's basement. I don't know what to tell you. So that must be Peter Pan I'm speaking to. <laughs> but, dude, just jump in. It's not going to matter. Take a demo and just fucking crank it. Just have fun with it. Or I guess you don't like playing guitar, you know. I mean, if you're playing guitar to get laid, that's one thing, right? Everybody's doing that on some level. Uh, but, 
you know, the jazz people are supposedly playing sophisticated stuff. Um, although they have the, the nice, nice chaotic random approach where the pop music locked in. So I, I, I look at pop music as like algorithmic jamming. I mean, that's like formulaic. So maybe because I'm in the jazz, I just, that just, I think the market is uh, more chaotic and more jazzy than it is a oh, straight beat. The straight beat that people are trying to capture these waves, you know, Elliott Wave and all this bullshit. It's very time frame dependent, these price pulses, you know. It's like time doesn't exist for price, but it, it does in the sense that um, it's the holes left behind because the longer we consolidate, the scarier, the scarier it really is for both teams. And when they jump ship, look the fuck out because we're either going to retrace like a bitch or we're just going to keep fucking going like a bitch. So the scariest thing, I think, is the market that's just not going anywhere. I'm like, well, holy shit. Now what? When it's going against you, you're like, uh, I get that. I understand this one. If it's going for you, you're like rooting. And if it's going for you, you're like, should I trail my stop? Am I, should I add? I mean, it's, it's, it's just as disturbing as losing. I mean, losing is a little easier because there's really nothing you could do about it. The problem with being up on a trade is you have the chance, like, you just fucking get the fuck out. Take some, just take, keep taking chunks out. And you're good at trading. But if you're good at analyzing and trying to get a, oh, am I, am I really going to pull the trigger? I never thought I could. I mean, I looked at the trade station. I'm like, am I really going to pull the trigger on this trade when I see this? This is before. It wouldn't execute for you. But you'd see the color combo. you trust yourself to blindly pull the trigger. If you did, then you would just go from chart to chart. Each day go blue, red, hey, pull, trigger. And the current ATR in the last four hours is um, X. Let's put the X tickets in. Okay, let it go. That would totally work. Of course, you'd have to have all these multiple schemes running. In fact, I saw this one prop firm that's saying you can't run more than one style. Or Ryan Brown said you can't run more than one style. You, you can't duplicate the style if you're going to trade more on that account. So, yes, I could see myself getting into hedges, even though I don't like the idea, because you're saying I don't know where the market's going. So I'm really not... Uh, I like to think I know where it's going and or where it could go. And so I, I, I don't want to overpay for this getting trapped, but I've been doing it and um, it does reserve the capital so you don't take a full hit. Now, if, if you're going to just buy only, you've got to know when it's when it's get, market's going to plunge in that area. Plus, you've got to be able to have these... Um, power tickets that you can lay in right because if you're not going to trade the other direction then you're going to spend the time i'm going to spend the time thinking about what can i power into when i see oh yeah this we're going we're going here right now get in uh even if they stop me out of some of those and then okay maybe that was the first burst got enough dry powder uh, also the one case is slowing me down so I love to trade, so I don't want to be hitting a 2K because that means I'm just overconfident, in my opinion. Like if the if the broker's saying, oh, we can't take that ticket right now, I'm great. That's how I was able to make so much money early on because with 20 brokers, even if that broker wasn't executing, I go to the other broker and I hit a button. So I had five laptops running and I'm just like, okay, let's do that. Bing, 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 bing. And even if I blew up an account, it just didn't matter. It's like, holy shit. Okay, that account's gone. And then I'd sit there and I'd, now I have a fresh account. I go to the fresh account, with 300 bucks on that one. And I'd say, hmm, okay, I'm going to be careful now. <laughs> now I'm going to be careful. So to me, blowing up an account was just the obvious choice with $300. I mean, this is like getting it, renting uh, a motor, high end motorcycle for the day, I suppose, high end car for the day. But, you know, making five grand off of $300 eventually was like it's just too much fun i mean i thought i i thought well this is it you know and then i must say another resentment i have of the fuck nuts that were running the system at the time they decided well people are just having too much fun 
uh, this is like, <laughs> and then they just tore, they, they uh, snatched it all away from us, and boom, so, you know, now people scavenging for uh, some place to get in, uh, into these, plus you gotta convert your money, it was fucking drama supreme, now you still gotta convert your money, you still need bitcoins, you still need this, you still need that, you still need coupons, you still need furniture, you still need gold bars, you still need, um, Steely Dan's, you still need this, that, you know, all this shit. So, so now what? Uh, end of the year is coming. Um, yeah, it looks like the dollar's gonna get creamed here. I see, I see gold's about to go up. Um, yeah, it could be lights out for the dollar for a while, especially all this, this, um, possible order imbalance with the, uh, the Chinese supposedly, uh, being, uh, you know, Part of this, uh, we'll scratch your back and we'll scratch ours. I mean, I guess when you have a trade war or when you when you put your foot down and you do these things, so there'll be maybe some uh, some really insane moves coming all over the place. But uh, yeah, I mean, I I just like the idea of kind of having the um, single direction trade only because. I am making money. I'm handing it to the sellers, so to speak. Um, sure, this bracketed situation, even though, um, if, if you do that well, though, if you have the proper sizing for breakouts, so you're talking about 20 levels of sizing at least. Say the 8 pip breakout all the way to the. 20 pip not that you wanted it to be 20 but when you drop that ticket if you let it last too long it's gonna get filled so you're bracketing continually i am bracketing continually okay i'm gonna put a two hour hedge in i put a four hour if i if i see the market going sideways i just keep doing that same strategy so i build a hedge in a narrow range and even if they're at the market now, if they're in the market, I can put a wider stop and then still get the same risk to reward, reward ratio. All you're doing when you put a buy stop and a sell stop um, symmetrically above and below current price, you really want to be confirmed on a final continuation out of there without ever looking back out of that one as, as you bracket the market. Then... Um, if you get filled on the sell side for me then i feel like well okay somebody handed me a sell and okay well i'm thinking well you know it's an awkward position for me tra after trading stocks so i let it go down and i'll say Oof, you know i'm gonna throw a buy limit in now so if i throw the buy limit in, if i was to trail the stop which i don't um that's another thing is that i'm typically getting out of something and just saying it's so easy to get back in because now I can get in two pips deep for eight hours I can afford to buy two pips deep for 12 hours now I can literally get right back into the market so if I dump 180k you put a 1k in two pips deep I put an, another 1k in four pips deep all the way to 20 pips deep for eight hours then the market comes down starts filling me I do the same thing but eventually I'm in 58k just on limits alone then I'm looking at it going, you know what, this is stupid. This is a great price down here. I'm going to buy one at the market and wait another half hour. If it goes lower, I'll buy another one. If it goes higher, I'll be like, yeah, I'm already in on limits. Okay. And then when I see, here comes Asia. Here's Wednesday. Middle of the week. Swing low. It's usually the turning point. The reversal's on Wednesday. There's two days left in this price pulse. Is there something I can get on? Is there something I should have boarded on limits because we took out the low of last week or we took out the low from three days ago? Any new low, the oldest low gets a bigger ticket. Now, there's no guarantee that's the reversal point. But when it does reverse off those points, that's an amazing retracement. I mean, it's a... That could be a really that could be a 200 pip winner that just one ticket with a 100 pip stop because it's part of a larger crush down area. So that retracement out of that, if it goes in golfs later on, that's crazy, right? Because that means that the what you left behind was a hammer in essence. It's the 
smash down, spike up, sideways, drift up. And as you fill the vacuum above, right, and, and you're like, oh, you know, I've seen this before in Asia. That's when you got to trade heavy. Just for a little bit, and you can make a nice smooth amount of money that, that, that's kind of a, a drifty move. And it's up. Because when the market's going, ripping up, one hour it's up, slammed up, next hour it's slammed down. Yeah, supposedly the bankers are in there. It's just a lot of people in there. And it's a lot of popular um, prices being filled. And once that ticket's filled, and I'm sure that there's people on the other side of that trade. I'm there has to be. Uh, taking the other side that's kicking it the other way. For whatever reasons and whoever it is has nothing to do with it. Like just because the road has a turn in it, it's not against you. <laughs> because the road has a turn. Are you you think it's a conspiracy? The speed you're going, it is against you. So the market's fast. You don't have a fucking stop that can handle that thing, and you could ride it out and cash out later on and say, wow, I got in that fucking thing and rode it out, 100 pips stop, made 200 pips in three hours. Yeah, the market does that, especially when it goes psychotic. I mean, today was a dud. I don't know if there was supposed to be news there, but to me it was just like nothing. I didn't see anything happen to my favor. So um, I got in this trade. I, get, I just kept getting back in it. Um, Euro dollar, I'm just long, long all day long. I just wrote a new script that's about eight hours here. Um, so this is my uh, market orders right now. I got to get in. So I've been buying at the market here, getting in pretty heavy, about uh, almost 1700 uh, margin now. So here's the story. Uh, pretty long here still on the original tickets from when we left the station down here. We've never come back to this uh, top, so this whole time it's been dropping down. It just had limits in here getting filled pretty tight. This is um, only about 8 pips here. And then just accumulating and dumping and really not cashing out much. I But see, this looks like a nice pullback. I just put my new script in here that gets in about, um, we're coming in here about uh, 2 pips deep. So this is really tight um oops just wiped it out so the navigator is a real bitch to um see here's the hedges so i could put a hedge on now a two hour hedge i would put on in other words i've been saying if we go up so here's a little mini auction going on right now so i gotta buy at the market i'm trying to get in just i'm just gonna get in with uh, five pip stops very tight here so i'm gonna load up and then I'm going to put in this uh, two pips deep uh, for eight hours. So I'm going to go two and like three and a half all the way to 18 with a 30 pip stop. So see, I just did that one just before I, st I started taping this, I think. So here, here's the, here's the trade uh, scheme here. Okay, these are just one case, but that still is... 8k man okay i gotta buy at the market here this is too good right here so this is the pullback on the one hour euro we're coming into asia it's about 9 15 okay i'm gonna go for the gusto now look this is what they used to, the gu look at this eight pips to make 55 pips oh this thing's going to the fucking moon dude i've been me a fucking break look at this goddamn triangle here shut the fuck up look at this quadruple top breakout but we're not even coming back to that this thing's a rape date okay <laughs> we're going to thirteen thousand dollars tonight here we go beautiful setup right there look at that thing pulling back to here beautiful all we got to do is break that wick, and we are home free. We can go get the Ferrari tonight. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm risking a dollar per, per trigger pull, pull, pull here. Just just let you know. The broker's letting me add to this position. We're going to get two grand here before we take out the high of the day, and we're going to take out the high of the week. It's going to be the most psycho 
retracement on the planet. Okay, that's about as heavy as I can afford because I'm going to drop this uh, two pip deep again. So there wasn't much money to be made here, and um, I really wish we would have made it back to here in some way. But this drip down, this is considered to be wave four, is uh, just this bullshit drift down. Notice the closing swing highs don't compare to the beautiful sell prices up here. Yeah, so this is the seller's window. We could have sold that. I got to buy this thing more right now. So I need to get in heavy here now. So we're about to take out that high of the day tonight. So most of my targets are only like 10 or 11 pips here. Then we can bank, we get to 10 grand, and then we can just be on easy street. And the next two grand, we the $12,000 will just drift. So without moving a stop, this is the other. If you can do a Rubik's Cube, you can do this. If See how my exits are tailored out to 100 pips, 95 pips? I could just let this go now. It's like it's like a balloon that's being held down and punished. And where are all the fucking um, genius traders that are supposed to be I'm trading against? Come on, fuckers. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to load up. I'm going to go to right to 2,000 if they let me in margin. Where's all the genius traders? Huh? You're playing against the best traders in the world. Really? Okay, let's go. Come on. Let's make some fucking money here. Fuck these assholes. Get this fucker over 90. I'll tell you, man. I'm a angry trader, and it's fucking made me so much money. I'm like, these fucking idiots. Especially Asia. Look at that. Will you look at that? Fuck. There she goes. You gotta love this shit. Yeah, this is quite the drama. Had you sold here, I must say that was a good four hours and nothing. So if you kept building your hedge in here with roughly a 10, 8 to 10 pip step, sure you lose a few tickets maybe, trapped long, but then when this bitch comes slamming down, and if you've picked your exits like this, and you terrorist them out, this is fucking brilliant. Go flat, accumulate here again. Now this could have could have fucked a lot of people up if their robot is gonna not be able to take those two pips that it gives you. The one hour robot's a little bit ridiculous. The four hour robot, if you test a four hour breakout system, it will make more money than a one hour breakout system because the one hour breakout system is gonna get whipsawed. So that makes no sense. Now, a, a market order one-hour system, I think, would be good. Hey, it's down here. Um, well, just only buy if it's going down at the market. Only accumulate here, here. So you'd be in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight k long, accumulating in every sell-off during here. Perfect, right? It's just like this. Uh, it pulls back, buy, buy, buy. Buy, buy, buy. It's accumulating. Nice top bottom. Here's the breakout traders. Let the breakout traders do their thing. You can see. Hey, you know, I'm going to get in before the breakout. Just like here. That was it, the one hour chart. Look at this thing. We're going to that round number real quick and dirty. So if I can peel off $300 a margin, be left holding $1,500, and this thing drifts up, I could actually just add to it on pullbacks at this point. You know, if we make 100 pips here, we do, we're doing good. So, yeah, I kind of want to do, um, set up this, uh, you know, account, manually traded, I suppose. Somebody asked if I was manually trading. I'm, I'm kind of launching all these schemes here. Now, the dollar yen and the dollar Swiss, we could have bought that as a plunge. We could have come in across that currency, and it's probably plunging right now because of the time of day. We could trade against... And that's another thing, because I wrote by only side, it's very complex, and I can drop that in another currency. Like, I could go on the guppy right now, throw in those 25 pip apart scrubs. Right, it makes sense to that market. Because that market moves 300 pips in one day. For the euro to make 100 pips in one day, 
is pretty astounding. So using that as your ATR, instead of this harebrained 14 APR ATR, just look at the chart and ask yourself, do you think that thing could really collapse that far? Do you think it could do it? No need to back test it. Uh, besides, even the robots that really are running are recalibrated based on what the true range of that, how that thing is being, how sensitive the, the system is. It has to be, right? You have to be tuning them up as part of our support package. But what you also get. So we got to, we got to make a thousand, we got to be up a thousand dollars in profit here coming into the European Open. So ride this into Europe, another um, 35 pips north. And at that point, you know, if it's, okay, so I already know where the sellers are. But I covered my tickets. I know that there's heavy selling above here, and we should start selling above here, but I won't because if this is not the trap, where the market comes up in here and reverses and then just never looks back and it spills out of this, right? Then what? Okay, well, I'd be, I'd be buying this plunge. So whatever I cash out of, and if I think, oh, God, look at that thing, just, it's just, if I go to the smaller time frame as we reach the line of scrimmage, like here, when you took out this top, this shelf, if you looked at the smaller time frame during here, you'd be like, oh, geez. This is the highest close. There's so much on this chart. Um, what if you sold because your market bot sells, uh, my market bot sells like these big moves? When I see that, I'm like, oh, fuck, sell that. Now, I would sell that. Big up move, I would sell. Like here, big up move. The wide stop, but big up move, wide stop. Eventually, it kind of makes money. It's kind of tough for everybody here on this train. That's not that's not fun. When we break out, we pull back. If this can be the top now, if we can ever get above this in the next uh, four hours, we can buy a new car. So. This is the threshold. The market knows it. We know it. Everybody knows it. Every robot can see this. This is an ascending whatever have you. That is the trend line. This is the top becoming a bottom. This is the stairway. Yeah, once it pokes to here above this wick, that's it. We're done. We got to go stop some bulls uh, uh, protection orders kick the bulls out rip it up it's the old kick and rip rip and this guy was had this um uh, j hook entry dude you got to trade the whole j and the hook you got to be loading on the j these guys have these stupid fucking seminar with the j hook pattern how do you get in from the how do you get in the j hook pattern well, first you wait for it to confirm, and you look back here, you see the J, now you buy now. No, no you don't. You assume this is the fucking J, and this is the fucking J. All four are the fucking J. You just keep loading. And then eventually, this vacuum matters, this wedge. This one has already filled. You know, I mean, obviously the... Phil has not been very dramatic here. The stop hunt is just keeps torturing these people. It's 70 I kept buying. 75. The, we went to about 70 or 69 for a minute on the bid. You can't see it here, but... I'm real close. Just kept buying that. I'm like, you fuckers, you dumb traitors. This is the torture. For the bears are barely making money and the bulls are barely losing money on their giant fucking position that they bought back here. Now we gotta go hunt down these fuckers. Bush. Man, I would buy more right now, but I'm not going to. If 
feel like I'm chasing it now. So I'm gonna sit back, let it go. Just let it go. Let it go, man. It's gonna be okay. <sighs> MT4 is the best. It's it's a, it's as good as it gets. I had a fat that wakes up, so I'm cheating. I'm using the wick fattener. That beautiful structure comes right back. Well, it kind of overshoots a little bit. Comes comes back into this. Uh, we gotta bust out here now. Here we go. Here we go. Psycho with the disco. Here we go. Okay. Let me get rid of those squiggly lines. I can't give away my secrets here, man. You don't understand. I work for a prop firm. I don't want to tell anybody. <laughs> prop firm. Like I told you, it's the Epstein prop firm. Yeah. I think you dropped your laptop again. You dropped your cell phone, babe. All right, here we are. Come on, you can do it. You can break out. I know you can do it. So yeah, this is. It was, it, I hashed out a couple tickets here, maybe. This is obviously the seller's window right there. So the scalpers came in off of that wick tip. They made their money. Here comes the trend traders buying on all pullbacks one hour chart it's Wednesday we're about to go after the high of the day and the high of the previous day and I'm seeing a I'm seeing bear blood is what I'm seeing <laughs> anybody agree um yeah this looks up like a pounce is coming look at that tick chart rearing up beautiful you gotta love a tick chart, man. Look at this bitch. Look at the beautiful stop hunt here. Does it get any better than that? It's almost as good as raunchy sex. Look at that fucker. Look at them stop hunt those. Oh, sorry, did we stop you out? I didn't even notice. Look at that. Here's the new stop hunt. Can we come after this? Look, it just made a new high. Look at that. There you go. Relatively new high. We still pounding against this thing. Come on, you can do it. Can't stall updates. Thank Jesus. Get the fuck out of here. Every time I buy a Windows computer, it's like, oh, you gotta reactivate it. What? Reactivate it? I'm just gonna buy a new computer. Oh, but we're going for the run for the border here. Oof, this is going to be nice. Smash, smash, smash into these fuckers. Yeah, that's going to be nice. I estimate we'll be at $1,300 margin once we make it to the 100-yard line. Okay, 13 pips to go. I'm not pissed off. No, so the other guy says in the um, chat window, yeah, the anxiety of being uh, kind of, you know, having the cell limits pending out there thinking, oh, man. Like, if I had cell limits above this right now, I'd be like, holy shit. Let's see what happens first. <laughs> I can always throw some limits in. I can always sell at the market. Um, actually, having the, the triple attack is the ultimate. So for me to sell... I could sell on a stop that lasts for 15 minutes. I could trail the market with sell stops on a small scalp. But that's not going to be the swing trade. The swing trade is going to be 10 pips above me all day long with a wide stop. If I can just get 10 pips better, 10 pips better, throw a raise above me. Yeah, I could probably do it, but this here's the thing. If I took every one of my favorite buy limit scripts and... You have to have a, another book that you look through that says exactly what's going on in the guts of that. If it's got anything past three tickets, you know, it becomes very complicated, like, situation. 
you'd want to have like I know what's going on there then if you really like that idea you would bother to write the south side because it's such a bitch you got to invert every fucking number there manually unless you got some batch file to do it you got to come up and say oh that's going to be a negative number and then you got to change bid to ask I guess once you got good at it here we go breaking out so finally getting paid here finally all day long I let the best traders in the world hold longs on this and what do they do they have to do this we're gonna drift back here on this painful bullshit chart I'm like dude let's just go up you know we're going up there that's always been my view of other traders so maybe that's why <laughs> not getting along well with others like what are you doing to the market Dude, just buy it. It's going up. That's why I've been losing money because can't these fuckers see it's going up? <laughs> All right. So it's going to be 930 and it's going to be a, a run for the border here. Here comes the immigrants right across the line. Can't keep them down on the farm. I expect some drama. Once the bid goes above here. And psychodrama up in here. And then as soon as we pop up in there, I'm buying two pips deep for eight hours. I just wrote that script. So the bigger the account gets, the more aggressive the scheme here. This is, I'm going to put it in right now. That's just how confident I am. I'm like the Democrats, well, yeah, I'm like the Democrats with no evidence. But I'm very confident. Look at that thing getting all wiggy. Look at these fuckers freaking out. I love this shit. Just before it breaks out, it gets psychotic and it might just rip back. Like, all the way to here. And people are like, what the fuck? Look how squirrely it's getting. You gotta love this shit. Who doesn't love Forex? What's the matter with you? Look, the spread's going to nearly zero. They're f people are freaking out. Should we get out, Hank? I think it's going to go against us. We've been short all week. I don't know. Call Joe at Joe's Bank. I don't know, his bank's not big enough. I don't think it matters what Joe thinks. Oh, call the guy at Citibank. See what the big banks are going to do with the retail traders if they try to... They think they're trying to trade the breakout. Ah, trying to trade the breakout, see? I think we'll put on a big ticket. Jimmy Bob, get the ticket button. Get Fat Finger over here. Remember the guy from London that blew up the market? Get his ass over here. He's good at pulling the trigger. Yeah, give him that big hotkey keyboard over there. Look at that. They almost filled my buy limit. Wait, I'm up another one. Oh, you gotta love this drama. I think I should buy at the market right there. Didn't that look good? Wait. Didn't look real good to me. Here. Oh, right there. Look at the tick chart. Shit, I missed my entry. God damn these fuckers. You son of a bitch. How'd you like that last pullback? There's a bulls are, the bulls are in the pen, right? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Brace yourself. Oh, this is going to be brutal. Cha-ching. I'm saying 10,000 easy by the time we get to here. In this window, I want to be at 10 grand. Right here. This is it. And then we can just, I'm going to put in limits. I'm going to trail limits after that. I'm going to put that eight hour limit in. So eight hours, uh, and then we six pips deep for eight hours again. These two I'm going to keep running. I'm loving these. Okay, right now I'm putting them in, for God's sakes. Here we go. The psychosis starts right now as we breach this, uh, the high today, and then I'm going to take out the high of yesterday real quick here. 9400 
Okay, we're per grand. Um, let's make about another 500 bucks here. Take us to 10 grand. I'm going to start putting the buy limits in for 8 hours, all the way to 18 pips deep with a 30 pip stop. I did increase the take profit on this to about 30 pips. So this makes 30 pips. Buying 2 pips deep makes about 30 pips in there. So each, there's, I'm not even calling out the take profit, only the stop on this. So when it says, the way I wrote this particular one, H8 means 8 hours, buy only. Here, look at this next gust of wind. Look at, look at let's take this out. Oof, that's what I'm talking about. <sighs> only 9,500. So I want to see 10,000 by the time we hit the yellow line here. Another 500 bucks, boom. Yeah, so that's a nice, beautiful. I think this is the turning point of the week, or at least for the next uh, 35 pips. So here we go, 96. Pretty brutal here. So yeah, almost back to uh, wait, 1,600 margins. We cashed out 9,700. Okay, so we took a little of the heat off. Now I'm going to come in with these aggressive buy limits because I think it's going to go up. I think it's going to go up more, and I want to trail these buy limits here to pick up any kind of cycle pullback, which we should should see. Major selling in that blue window, and it'll rip back, you know. So here, I'm going to anticipate that. I'm going to buy 4K. Now I'm going to buy 12K for eight hours because I hit that button three times, and those are all streamed in, so it looks just like this. I have to go to delete all objects, um, but... You can see them coming in like that. Okay, it's going to fill. We're about to fill that. See, there you go. So we cashed out of a huge position. Now we're getting in lightly on this, which I have no problem walking away for here from eight hours and hoping they crush it back. Like, from all the times I've been stopped out and crushed, I'm like, oh, yeah, I go ahead, rip it back. Because I said, you could have sold up there. You see the seller's window? You see the scalp window right there that just got tagged? Right here. Yeah, people sold off that. And they're up on the trade. And there's big tickets in there. It's a high probability trade. That's why it's so vicious. I believe that's the why it's vicious here. Now if we continue, it's going to go ripping up so hard right now. It's a classic. We're going after the high of the previous day now. This should be brutal. Look at it rip back. Look at the scalpers taking more off the top of that. Oh, brutal. And I'm going to get filled on pie limits. It's beautiful. I'd have to try to blow up the account now. It's impossible. There's no risk of ruin now. I'm really long. I'm buying more on pullbacks. I already cashed out. I didn't even... Those are predetermined exits. They're just in a band area. Look at them pull back. Beautiful. Right? Beautiful. Now you could start off the account like this. You've only got 300 bucks in it. You put a 12K in for eight hours. Let's see what happens. Overlap it with two, 25 pips apart. You can't just put in a linear grid, 10 pips apart, walk away, standard lots in every handle and say, it doesn't work. That scaling in doesn't work. You can't say that. That's retarded. That's like saying, well, I drove the car. You said the car does 100 miles an hour. Yeah, not in the driveway, dumb shit. So, yeah, I, you know, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You can see what, all you have to do is back test this. You can see, yeah, you can't be buying two pips away for eight hours all day long. Only if you really got enough money in the account. So we didn't make it to 10 grand on that. We made 9,700 of those. We crashed up. We can't. We took all that risk off the table. Now we're going to come back and risk some more. I love this ticket. It's got an 18 pip stop. It's getting in two pips deep. Look at that. Eight hours. Look at him pull it back. Look at these bears making money off of that. Oof. Man, they cleaned up on that thing. Look at the five minute. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. 
but no, I'm not so. I, I did. I, I'm going long. This bitch is going to the fucking moon. I need dollars cooked. Dollars fucked. Look at that. Woof, beautiful. I love this. Almost back to the same amount of margin usage. I'm not even buying it at the market. I'm just throwing limits in as it drops. Coming back to the breakout point. Five minute chart. Beautiful. Look at that fucker in Asia. Uh, who doesn't like Forex trading? What's the matter with you? Oh, look at that. Look at him rip that puppy back. Beautiful. Impossible to blow up the account. I wouldn't even want to think about pulling the trigger at the market. Look at him come to me. <laughs> They're going to punish these bulls. It's going up. Oh, really? And it's so funny because people think this is some banker window. Dude, that's just an order and balance window. You couldn't see that hole up there? Fuck, you don't have a chart? Look at that. Look at that fucking rooftop. Look at him rip it. So I bought very grass. Look at him rip it down again. Oh, man. Asia's kind of spicy tonight. Dude, you got to love this shit. I'm not even buying it at the market. They're just coming to me. It's like taking candy from a baby. <laughs> Look at that fucker. I got a 30 pip stop on that. Dude, that's got to drop over 30 pips to stop me out of that. I just picked up like 30k on limits. That was insane. Look at this. So my market, my five-minute market bot would have been is about to be triggered. Here's another structure issue. Comes back to here. Stop hunts all these guys. Oh well. Yeah, so I could have done a sell scheme up there, but look at I'm only gonna be in that trade for five minutes. So I'd rather cash out on my longs, come back with the limits and go, you know what? If I was short off that top, I'd feel like an idiot if I didn't get out of that leg, you know. Should I should I sell off the top of that? That was obvious. Yeah, if I place pre planned orders there, um knowing that that window exists and say, I'll put some scalpers in there, right? But I'm not gonna put a a reversal. A hundred pip reversal trade, no. Yes, I could have put sell limits up in that window. We all knew it existed. We knew anything above here was seller's paradise. And we could have had scalpers in there. Stops there, take profit, stop, take profit, right? But when it came back to here, we already knew the exit, right? So we knew that this would have been the exit had we sold here because it's going to come back to this um, area. So we could have had the, the trade set up even before this happened. Right, because if we start selling above that, we know that structurally this is a big deal. And it did come back to there, right? So, But that was for the sell-off of this hole, not this one. This one comes back. Um, you had survived this much, but it finally comes back to here. And at five minutes down, my five-minute bot just bought at the market. See? But I don't have to buy at the market because it's just about where I want to be. Um, I think we could go lower. So I'm going to put the, the eight hours in again. So the, here, here's the script coming in. This is what it looks like. It's a 1, 2K. I mean, this is adds up to 2K. They're all single Ks. Here's another entry. And then way down here, 18 pips deep is an eight-hour order. Here we're going to go rip north now. So I could have bought that at the market at pullback. I could have done it. But but um, I would have done it if I said, I want to be at $2,000 of margin or more margin than this. I go click, 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 click. I could have bought that pullback. Now, now I think we're going to rip north. Pretty good now. 
So I won't touch this trade until we take out the 100 yard line. I think I might add on a slight pullback, but I think it's Rip City from here on out. So this is your classic. Look at this 15 minute chart. You don't even have a chance to pull the trigger here. If this candle closes up, we won't even have a... So this candle has to close down a little bit, and then the 15-minute robots would jump on, on board here. So I don't know. I don't have a clock in front of me, so I don't know how far we are from... Here, I don't know if I trust this clock. Okay, we're, we're, we're 10 minutes from 10 o'clock, Eastern Standard Time. So... <clears throat> this candle still got 10 minutes to play out. So if we close here slightly down, we know the market orders with tight stops need to come in. So you're constantly adjusting your trade plan based on what you see. You see this, you do that. Do that yeah. Is it worth pulling the trigger with a 5 pip spread? Trying to make 8 pips? Probably not. But look at this thing on a Wednesday. Wow. Look at that tick chart popping. So I don't even think we're going to get a pullback. This is supposed to be done. In, no, I don't think we're going to close down. I think we're going to go straight through the roof here. The next pullback will be the next bar. This thing's too pissed off. Look at that. You only get a five-minute pullback. See, this is why the trade plan only exists on certain uh, time frames. Here you are trapped below the double bottom but only on the five minute chart. It doesn't exist on other time frames. It's a beautiful setup. Big heart closed down, trap below here. Then we gotta take this out and get really heated up. So we still gotta wait till 10 o'clock. But as we get closer to Europe, I think we're going to keep going up. And I suppose the ultimate target here is going to be, I think on the weekly chart, we need to take out, i got to delete these objects here. we got to take out this. The high, we did take out the high last week. We tagged it and we just ripped off of it. That's why we just saw that reaction. So when we were taking out that, um, that was last week's high. We just tagged and bagged just a minute ago. Oh, no, that was that was earlier, I guess. Wait a second. Now that's way back here. Okay, so here's the obstacle. On the um, four-hour chart, this is what I'm looking at. Four-hour charts just got, it's it's not as risky. We do need to take this out. But here's where the sellers are living. This double top from I guess on the monthly chart here. If I go to the daily chart. So this is the beginning of the month and huge reversal down here okay it's kind of hard to navigate this look, look at the psycho drama down here so this was the there's people that are probably long from down there i gotta believe and they're waiting for the final conclusion of the story being we're going to go above this there's sellers galore up here you know that and hopefully you're out by that point God damn this thing. I'm just so uh, disappointed with the software forever. Um, okay, so I, I'm trying to get a view of the rooftops here because this bottom doesn't matter now. All I care about is the next 50 pips. So let me zoom out one level to try to get perspective here of where the um, the deepest void is so every time i delete objects i'm wiping out my analysis okay looking at this hole because on these th uh, triple top here the triple void this is insane deep price here 
and my exits are there. So if I let this whole thing play out, I still want to buy on trailing limits, though, like I just did there. So this could actually, um, by the end of the week, I think we could easily make it to this first insane price. This is a tall order here. Then here's the next insane wedge point. So cutting through this should be pretty brutally fast. And then I expect there'll be reversals. People will be selling like crazy here and crazy here. Right? This is a big deal. So ride it. I'm gonna ride this and and what'll probably happen is We'll have another chance to buy on my 15 pip deep eight hour tickets. So you have to estimate what do you think? Unless you're going to sell up there and count, you know, if you know it's a counter trend trade, if you can see what's happening and where we're running to, right? So when we were done taking out this double bottom and this 25 pip window, you know, here's the first probe into it. And the bottom pickers come in, scalp it to the floor, and they get some more out of it. Then they keep buying new lows. That would be me. I'm just throwing in limits. I'm looking for this retracement. Yes, I could have sold into it. I could have sold into it here. Slightly upsell. Slightly upsell. It works either way. It's just that it becomes complicated. And, and you're thinking about, well, how much did I sell? And... When you see, it fucks with the margin because now if you sell and buy equally, it'll look like you're not using as much margin. When you're actually in a kind of a a more expensive position because you bought the spread and the, um, even if you get it at the market at the same time, you bought the spread and the commissions on that other leg. So if you're handing it off to your other trade, you know, and yeah, sure, I suppose if I put in the sell stop, also, when I was thinking about that, um, maybe I'd have a cell computer, right? I'd have a cell computer next to me in the same account. This is the cell computer. This is the buy computer. Maybe I could do it like that. But it seems like I'm, it's like a threesome, you know? Sometimes it sounds good on paper, a threesome, but then you're like, oh, the other person, you're like, you all right? You here? Um, <laughs> you okay with this? <laughs> you're always checking. Is do you mind if? Yeah, I feel like it's a threesome. <laughs> so maybe I, I'm not gonna be able to. Of course, the hedge is not a threesome that I chose. In other words, it it just happens. I just own the motel. I'm not. I didn't ask these people to come over. I just own the motel. Imagine being a broker, broke um, MT4 broker. Yeah, we got some bad traders out there, but. Hey, we're not going to deny them execution. <laughs> they want to trade here. They're welcome. <sighs> so here we're waiting again for somebody to make us, some big boy to make me rich. I'm waiting for the smart money to come into the market and see it my way. Fuck, I'm tempted to put another pile of it in. <laughs> I'm not seeing the performance I need here. I'm going to go to the five-minute chart. So that's my big picture of you as the daily. But I'm just looking for these zones to fill. Like I think that maybe um, we're done going down for a while. <laughs> this was amazing. Come on. And, and this is like breakout on the monthly chart like it's going down for new lows oh really <laughs> and then when they start blowing out these candles here wow that's spectacular you could have put a buy stop you could have a trailing cancel replace buy stop buy stop buy stop oh you know i'm just a goober hey look i'm long i know it's crazy uh you could have added on here on pullbacks yeah i bought some more tonight did you now don't forget there's people out there around you that are trading dumb shit like 
Yeah, I'm running a trailing sell stop. Look, I got filled, made some money. It's crazy. Look, another trailing sell stop here. Sell stop, sell stop. Look, I made money. Another sell stop. Oh, I'm a turtle trader. Yeah, so you could sell it just as well. You can buy and sell. But it is disturbing if you don't know how much you bought and sold, and especially the way I'm doing this. I'm just th saying there's enough money in the account. I know what I'm risking. I'm risking three hundred dollars to a thousand dollars. Can I handle losing seven hundred dollars a week? If I'm up fourteen hundred dollars and I lose seven hundred bucks, um, I think you can always do better. You know, you can always be more precise and more better timing. But I'm not trying to time one ticket. That's asking way too much, I think, of anybody, is to get it right on every... How many times do they pitch the ball in a, in a game? These pitchers' arms are blowing out. You know, not every ball he hit, he, he's able to uh, strike out the batter. So you're just throwing and throwing and throwing. And what are you going to do? I mean, the market may come back and fill me at my ridiculous price. And I'll be like, wow, that's just amazing. And let the market come to you. You don't have to chase these fucking things. It's just not worth it, man. Yeah, you got to love a tick chart. Look at that thing. It just, it just backed off again. I'm going to do one more click on my uh, super tight limit fill. Very long lasting. Eight hours goes by pretty quick, actually. So if I click that every hour, you know, as the market's dropping off, the market really heats up. And I see we're about to drop into some mega void. I call them mega voids. It's on my advanced course. Um, yeah, I have to show you that in one of those um, rooms that the government looks at uh, documents from fake <laughs> interviews. A skiff room. I have to take you to the skiff room. Show you that. Shit. Look at this nice buy in the euro right there. Look at that beautiful. Look at that fucking sell off. That little spike down on the tick chart. Just buy that fucker right there. What's the matter with people? What a great buy that is. Look at that beautiful tick chart. Huh. Nice spike sideways. Now we're gonna go for it here. One more Lansing blow. Five minutes after the top of the hour and one minute. Okay, people, let's go up. Bring the smart traders in. Bring them and sit them down. Tell them what we're up to here. We're from the CIA and we're here to help you. Yeah, we have a script we want you to read. Not that kind of script. No, this is the one, the one you're going to tell us. Tell everybody out there. Okay, I'm trying to zoom in on. So here we go. One hour chart. So I said the 15 I thought was going to close up. So it did. It closed up. Then we got a pullback. Is this the confirmation on the 15? Let's see here. I'll call that a top become a bottom. This was the big breakout. So the scalpers rode that down out of that high probability hole. Trend traders are buying that. And if we close here in another 10 minutes, we know that they would be buying that. If it's down, they will probably buy quite a bit with a tight stop here. So since I've clicked this button, over 2,000, I should print out this chart to, I should print out this account to the um, FX Blue. I bet it says 3,000 trades a day on here. So that's a lot of trades. Um so it's not you know this is it's a lot of work you know you could have taken advantage of this double bottom of the 15 if you wanted to you know 
back. Look at that. So I'm long here. Now this broker, as I showed last night, the spreads get brutal here. This is the close. Then the market opens after five minutes of being closed. The gap opened here, and all of a sudden I'm up two. I was down two hundred dollars. Now I'm up about oh, seventy bucks. Down two hundred, up seventy, and then we go here, and then we're just here. We go. Rape at the disco. So. Once we come above that, we know the sellers are coming in. Sell, sell, sell. Bring it back to this. Kind of brought it back to this breakout point. On the 15, you can see the story. Then the buyers come in. Boosh. Scalpers pull it back. We need for it to go up into here but maybe we have to come back and we'll do one more stop hunt which i'll buy the stop hunt for eight hours so i quit hitting the button there um now i can hit the button every hour and i know i'm risking like um 10 bucks an hour right you can't even get a hooker for 10 bucks an hour. i don't know maybe 10 bucks a minute um like here right that's eight hours so it just stacked them in. Better price. Great taste, less filling. You could make these different color arrows in here too. Like the orange ones are big tickets. Them big tickets. Now this is eight hours also, but look, it's a different price. So I can click two of these. Master 30 pips stop on that whole rack. Of course, it's not a master. If I put in layers, then I kind of have soft stop, really. Now I'm going to let it go. You know what? I'm going to buy at the market here with a 5 pip stop. I can't resist this setup. I lied. 8 pip stop to make 14. Now I'm going to just load the wagon right now. As as no nonsense says, I'm going to get it. I'm going to go get it right now. I'm getting I'm getting in here. Quick and dirty at um almost 15 after the hour on the 15 minute chart. That's what I'm talking about. We got a setup here, people. Let's get to 1800 margin. Okay, 1800 margin. So, see, didn't buy enough on limits. I'm not going to cancel limits, though. I'm going to give myself $2,000 of usage of margin. Let's go shopping. Let's go buy stuff we don't need. I just don't need another $1,000 of that currency. Okay, that's it. I'm just going to sit tight now. Let the poker game go now. This is where we just sit back and go. You can't get a better hand than this from the long side. So this looks we're going to leave another price pulse up. Look at that. Only 15 minutes of pullback available. If we close up in the next six minutes, that'll be the best price on the 15-minute chart. And... Just a nice classic reversal on a Wednesday. Never made a new low. Um, we just kind of dragged back. We didn't take out yesterday's low, but we just had a nice consolidation. And whatever this news was, and I hope I got the uh, date of the news. I thought there was news at uh, 2 o'clock today. I thought there was 10.30. Crude oil is supposed to be some big deal, you know. Um, people talking about, well, you know, crude oil is going to move this, and yeah, but what are you going to do? Maybe it moves in your favor. Look at this thing go. Bye bye, dollar. Knocking on my 100 yard line here. 20 pips to go. We were close. We were, we were 9 pips away from the target, from the major scale out. So that doesn't get any better than that. You know, you could trade every zigzag on this 15 minute chart. But you'd have to literally get in just the right amount for that thing and go, oh, you know, I sat here without falling asleep and I just kept pulling the trigger. So, but I can I can look at this thing all day long. It doesn't bother me. Um, I could look at the half-hour chart. Or the four-hour chart typically for me is probably the, 
it's just the laziest view. It, it, if I do that, I could actually trade the uh, euro to the, the, the dollar yen, right? So here's an example. Had we put in the orders here, so I don't know if these tickets, um, this is an old trade when I started the account, I think. Or no, this is, this is a trade I put in that maybe never filled. I don't know if that's, if I drop that in time for the market to come down there. Yeah, so I captured some of that. But. So I could have easily put a buy limit array here on all these basements. See those wicks, those bottoms? That's my system. That's my trade system is to buy old lows. The older they are, the more I buy. That's my scheme. And I could set that up, but I, I think I like scalping. I like to make 100 bucks in an hour and then $300 in a day. So $400. If I get in fat enough, um, and then I could jump to the next currency, but I'd probably just do it on a separate account for the dollar yen. I would just have a dollar yen account, and I'd be like, ah, I bet I'm getting filled on my limits. I wouldn't have to look at it. I could close the book on that, um, not have to babysit that trade. Because it looks obvious, you know. It's kind of a obvious situation. Especially here on the four hour chart, I think it's uh, obvious uh, to do it. Uh, very aggressively buying here, here, here. But the deeper it goes, the more you buy. So you definitely buy more here than you bought here. And you know your exit's here. So when you buy here, um, you'd probably have an exit here. I think that's the, the low that we took out. This isn't a good background color to see. Here comes the euro. It's going to go screaming north. I'm not going to touch it, though. Let me go for a better background color. So, yeah, it's pretty exciting uh, trading, I must say. Um, I would be out of this one. See, that's another thing. You'd have to say, move your targets to here. If you bought here, 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 if that's the breakout where the sellers come in again, and you can see that you could put a ticket bank in there, and you would have filled at least a here on that, just above the 25-yard line. And you would have made these many, many pips, but it looks like we could keep going up, right? Or are you going to hold this until it tumbles down? And are you going to babysit that and watch that over your shoulder? You know, that's another consideration because you could have easily bought this, um, bought here, bought here in this 25 pip window, dumped everything here, walked away, left that on the table, and go into another currency pair. Just like this, when I put these orders in here, I scalp that. I think that's when I started this account. And then comes down I could have bought that plunge or I could, yes I could have sold this thing into here waited for it to come back here but I could just as well come in here it's a revolving door it's really doesn't matter because you got to get out of your long at some point you got to get out of your short so why aren't you a buyer the same thing could be said but yeah I can see what you're saying it just is hard psychologically to hold those two things in context I think it's like, okay, I'm with a guy and I'm with a girl, so what, what are you, bisexual? Yeah, I guess I feel bisexual. That's like a threesome situation. Here is the uh, trend line we're looking to break on the daily dollar yen. Got to break this channel. Here's the outside of it, so to speak. Here is the channel, inside the channel. Yeah. A lot of sellers there, but I think this is more important. This this sell window, if we ever make it above that, look out. And this could go up, and the euro could go up too. They could all go up. I mean, the yen could lose against the dollar. They're completely separate situations. We did come back to this 
This was my big buy window. Especially after a big down move. The guy that buys the big down move there, he's up. He's doing good. Pretty vicious. Vicious moves. British Pound is br brutal. You've got to have limit orders for the British Pound. I don't know how people are trading this thing. Look at this big inverted hammer. Man, what a buy. No, the scalpers are out already. Right, if you bought this low, you're like, dude, that was beautiful. We just made 25 pips. If you bought here, you're like, I am fucking... If you bought here with 100 pips stop, you're like, God damn, they almost stopped me out. If you bought here, you are now at break. You are now finally back to... Of course, if you bought that, you must have cashed out of something on that. Okay, so that is, I think what people are missing is that imagine you put a buy limit here. Just think of this one little scenario. Um, I don't know if you, if you can back test this, but look how we come down into here and look at that, look at that move. And then it actually goes to here at some point. Amazing. Absolutely astounding. See if I can go to the four hour chart and find that trade in there. So, yes, when we come into this window and on the four hour chart, you can see that you would put a fatter order at the bottom of this. Here you're getting in your first ticket. Breaks out. Confirmation traders come in, try to pull it down. Uh uh. It's not going to happen. Yeah, you could add sell limits up here. Sure, you could have had this trade in, this sell limit when the market was down here. You could have put this in. It's obvious where the market's going to. This is the turnaround, right? Somewhere in there. It's not exact. It couldn't be. Look how they just almost go down here again. This is why the market bot's going to make money, because he's going to buy here, he's going to buy here. He's in because it's down. He's in because it's down. Buy, 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 buy. Isn't it weird? All the buys are a low price. I bought because it was down. I bought because it was down. But maybe you didn't buy this because it was down because you saw this looming vacuum and you said, I don't think this is this is where the the market order bot that buys when it's down here is going to expect to get stopped out if his stop is here or here. But the trade plan just changed. When it's down hard, there is that there is a trade. But you're coming into the buyer's window anyways. Look at that move to here. So this is a huge move. Almost 100 pips in four hours. Well, those are the bankers manipulating the market against you. What? See, that's what's so stupid. Oh, I suppose they're manipulating it now on the British pound. And if the euro's going up, I bet the pound's going up. I used to try to jump on both of these at the same time. If I jumped on this pound right now and said, well, you know, the euro's going up, so the pound's, the dollar's going to hell. Yeah, the dollar, dollar is going to hell. So I could have gotten a buy stop here, and I'm long a little bit, or I did buy down here, but I got to trade completely different here than I trade on the euro. Because look at this thing, it would probably come to here. If the euro takes out... The high of the week, you think this thing isn't going to go berserk up? What's there between Britain? It's nothing. What, the Brexit? What about the Brexit thing? Fuck, fuck Brexit. Don't even say Brexit. You make me throw up my mind. I fucking... I'm sick of hearing about Brexit. Besides, these guys are just as fucked as the Democrats over here. Because these fucking idiots in there. Well, we just can't do it. Why? Can't just pull out of a country. Dude, I'm not going to babysit your ass for the rest of my life. Fuck you. Well, they're shooting at us now. Dude, you should. What, you fucking leaning on us? Fuck you. I don't know, that shit just pisses me off. Anyways, um, <laughs> I'm just tired of it. Tired of being the fucking. Look at that thing go. Look at that euro go. Glory be. Thank you, Jesus. Forex Jesus. That's going to be my um, Church of Forex. There was, there was, a, there's a website out there, isn't it? Like baby pips. Uh, Forex Church. 
Anybody ever go to Forex Church? It's like Baby Pips. Go to Baby Pips and look up uh, Clint. I'll help you out. So, um, look at this. Look at this British Pounds ready to rip north. This is my bellwether looking at this. See, I don't even have to trade. The dollar's going to get creamed, man. Look at this thing. Holy shit. I'm seeing this big void up here. Of course, there is a void down here. Well, we can still topple down. But look at that euro coming on like gangbusters. Son, we'd be in one pip of our target right now. Damn it, we should be at 10 grand. What the fuck? They're monkeying with us. Look at that thing. Oh, we're about to take out the critical high of the day. Okay, raid pips from the target. I saw that 9 and I got excited on the tick chart. Come on, people. Come on, smart traders. I know you can do something intelligent. Come on, smart money. Come on, you dumb shits. Oh, they're getting confirmation. It seems somebody just sent out a signal. Soros just said buy the euro. That's right. I got a Reuters feed with. Uh, I got a camera installed in Soros's uh, his office. Actually, Soros is the one that has the buy stop sitting here. At the high of the day, he's gonna he's gonna rip this thing to a hundred pips for us. Come on, Georgie. Ah, uh, I have the patience for this shit. Okay, so seven minutes to the bottom of the hour. Who says we're gonna make it uh, to the hundred yard line by uh, midnight? I'm giving it an hour and a half for the smart traders to come in. Smart money is going to push it up for me. Because, you know, they're trend traders. They trade on confirmation too, you know. So if the banks aren't trading on confirmation and they're getting in a deep discount, how come you're not? Well, because I'm using... Um, I'm waiting for my indicators to catch up, if you know what I mean. Or, you know. Come on. You can catch up. It's too late. She's dead. <laughs> oh, come on. Just break out, would you? Here we go. Here we go. There you go. <sighs> Farm animals at the disco. Waiting for it to break out. It's like a golfing event. He's on the ninth hole. He's going to get a birdie. The wind, it's kind of windy out here. Oh. Oh, Joe, I think he's going to make it. Anybody ever stare at a, a chart with a bunch of money in the account like this? Be like, come on, man. You can do it. You can break out. <sighs> That's why uh, people said, why don't you live stream? I'm like, well, it's moments like this where you're like, I know it's going up, but why may no one think it should go up faster? <laughs> I've always looked at these situations, uh, but we're going up. Can't we just go up already? <laughs> Man, you'd think that I'd, that I'd slowed the market down. <laughs> George is slowing the market. Uh, what they're doing is they're trying it's psychops on retail traders straight in the breakout. I get it. Yeah, he's right. The bankers are fucking with me. The big banks just keep teasing the tick chart north. They're like they're waiting for the they're waiting for the um the confirmation guys to pick up the phone, and start calling the new orders. I don't see anybody clicking. <laughs> They're using their most goober brokers, their bellwether. <laughs> oh, man. 
And we're waiting for the robots to come in at the bottom of the hour in confirmation. The the turtle bots, we that's what need, we need to push this market because the market maker bot, which I'm using, the one in my head, my contrarian bot, <laughs> I'm programmed to to, def, to to hate everything. So contrarian tra contrarian trading works for me good. We got four minutes of torture here. <laughs> Wait for the for ten thirty Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> Look at that man! How dare they! How dare they do this to the market? Can I be a little eleven-year-old girl and go on a how dare they tour about this fucking setup on the chart right here? <sighs> It's just not right. I shouldn't be here watching this fucking chart. How dare you? Big pinkers. Look at that. My trading accounts in jeopardy. <sighs> I should be home getting drunk. Oh, look at this. Who could endure this shit? Oh, my fucking God. Come on, bankers. Come on, smart money. See, now a lot of people bail right now. They're like, fuck it. These motherfuckers. I'm just getting out. I'm up 1200 bucks. Fuck this shit. Oh. oh, here we go. There you go. Panic. Panic of the disco, finally. Here we go. That looked like the pullback to me. This See, notice this Elliott Wave pullback in the tick chart. Take a look at this nice Wave 4 here. That's a ticket. Look at that. Oh, another stop hunt. She's rearing up. Mm, I think that's it. Jimmy Bob has stopped way back here. That's it. I got a trend line here. We'll look in the break. Oh, yeah. Here we go. There you go. We filled this vacuum. It's just another pullback and the whole line of pullbacks to the moon. If gold breaks out, takes out this four hour bar here, which it's itching to do. I mean four day bar. We just popped into the the breakout part. Of course we did we did the scalpers came in and they clipped off the rooftops of that gold price pulse. So that's something to consider that uh, the scalpers made a little bit of money there for the moment. But if we keep churning north, then it's lights out for gold's going to go up, dollar down. That's obvious. Possible run to the border. Yeah, it was a probably pile into the gold market before the end of the year, driving it up to like... Um, Unfortunately, this data doesn't go back far enough to see it, but up here, this is the big resistance, but I'm sure there's resistance up here. There's got to be. But yeah, once you tip, you'll start shearing off these Williams fractals and then pop. Here, here comes zero. Here we go. So this was the big trap. I think that's the last trap before... The bottom of the hour, we've got two seconds here. Okay, we just hit the bottom of the hour, so the bottom of the hour, half hour bots. If that was down on the half hour, we know the market bots bought. Go to the half hour chart, and it didn't even pull back. Look at that. Not even the 15. Now people are chasing. The only chance to get it was on the five. Okay. So, 
that's all I got because I'm not gonna sit there for half an hour and watch these goddamn. I mean, I, yeah, these bankers are just, you know, the banks. How did the banks not have enough fucking money? They loaned it all out. They went past their fractional reserve five percent limit. Now they're loaning out shit. Fractional reserve banking just went down to point zero one. They have no fucking money. Bitcoin's doing better. Well, maybe no chance to buy here. Five minutes. I'll wait five more minutes. If it's down, I'll buy another one. I'll come in here at the market with my five trusty five pip stop. I'm going to buy it right here while it's on sale. Let's add some scalpers to this. I got nine pips to go to the round number. I think we'll overshoot that by five pips. Can trading be any more boring? Okay, so that was the scalpers window. They made some money. They're making it again as we pull back. So I'm going to buy the pullback. I'm going for the 15 pip stop with the 50 pip winner. More limits. Just in case. My insurance policy. So the limits are stacking up for eight hours here. Pretty pretty uh, big exposure to another pullback, possibly. As once again, the bankers take it right to the line of scrimmage and backed it off. Another chance for us to buy more on pullbacks. So plenty of dry powder here. I could take it up to $2,000 of margin. and I got another $800 of margin and reserves I could use. And then we're just going to ride this puppy north. Man, at least they didn't get all excited and buy it up here. So if you bought here saying, oh, God, it's about to break out. See how they see how they tricked you? You're all bullish here, weren't you? Oh, yeah. Couldn't wait five minutes for them to pull it back to get a better price. No, you had to buy up here. So always try to accumulate. If it's pulled back and run the limits here so that maybe you buy 20% of the market and 80% on limits and maybe you only fill 50% of your 80% you have pending so you're you're in like 40% you're you're running the account pretty hard I mean moderately you know you're doing like 50 miles an hour now if you punch it and you got to scalp in heavy and chase a little bit before you think it's going to... And you're like, oh, yeah, this looks like the last chance here. Give it another five minutes, and you get a sense for this tick chart, the way it's dropping so harshly here. This is a nice pounding down. Look, another pounding's coming. So I'm going to wait. Oh, look at that. They filled my limit. Gosh, I want to buy right here. Wait, please hold. See. If we get the ticket fast enough. That's another problem. To have that gun in your hand. Okay, five pip stops now. To have the gun in your hand at the time, that's the trick. Right? You may back test the five minute chart, but are you going to be around to pull the trigger on this stuff? Now we put more limits in. I think I got to smash it now. Look at that. Huh. So here's the first pullback I bought on limits down here. Remember that? It was a long time ago. But we bought this. Then I think I bought one at the market here. And then I got kind of excited here. And now I'm getting all giddy about it going up and up and up. So I'm going to buy all these pullbacks now. Put my finger in the. I'm putting in 10 pip stops now. So I expect to go underwater a little bit on this, possibly. 
But we just updated the five minute chart. Oh, that one was a doji there, so I gotta break that one out. This one just started actually a minute ago. This this sell off. So I want to build along into this one five minute period now. I'll sit back here with my finger on the trigger. The giant targets of ninety five pips with a twelve pip stop. Anytime it comes below here, I'm getting a better price. So I'm going to wait about uh, one minute here. See if they pop it down. They're about to hit my buy limit here. Like I said, I got about uh, $140 of free margin left, in my opinion. Oh, I'm going to buy that. I think this is about near the end of the pullback. Oh, this thing's really going to be a a breakout. We're building up so much pressure here. That's the hot spots they're talking about. And that's the vacuum I'm looking at there. So I'm going to keep pulling the trigger every five minutes it's down here. That's my trade plan. It's crude, but I love it. I'll go for the big targets here, 95 pips. I can still dump out of this. This looks like we're done tanking now. Look at that tick chart. We just got a double bottom. We are now trapped here below this. We're going to pop above that and golf. So I want to buy before we get above this price. And I want to buy before we get above that price. As long as we stay below that. Then I'm good. So I'll keep pulling the trigger before we leave. Five pips to make 12. Seven to make seven. $150 of margin left here. Um, seven pips stop to make nine. Okay, I'm done buying. So it could still spike down. I should write a ticket that buys one pip deep. A limit like this one but we'll put this one in this is two that's a good that's good all right we got to take out that blue line there that's all there is to it it's as simple as that no sense in overcomplicating this shit I know people love it but this is plenty of work for me babysitting this godforsaken euro dollar Thankfully, the most manipulated currency in the world, according to some goobers. Yep, I locked that long in right there. I'm not buying any more. I got too many limits I could fill here. I'm waiting again. Okay, here we go. We just completed that five minute chart. One pullback. 15-minute chart has not updated yet. Had to jump on, jump on the five-minute train there. Plus, we just took out this. This is critical. Took out those stops. Made new lows. Took out those lows. Stops or not, we made new lows. So always buy new lows. Put the stop on that fits that the appropriate uh, thing there. Okay, there's nothing I can do about it now. I'll let it go. Ten pips from the round number. Just have to sit back and wait for the, uh, the market to do its thing, as they say. So this is not uh, the most exciting way to make money, really. <laughs> I think uh, car racing more exciting, maybe. I could still go lower here. Got enough. I think I'd pull the trigger if we took out the low from the last five minutes. 
It's just about to fill a 2K. It looks like a 2 one k stacked up at the same price. So another thing is that uh, this guy Tony P was talking about uh, the trade. Well, typically these charts, you have to go inside of the uh, properties and you have to turn on the ask price because um, if you go to the common tab, they don't really have it turned on typically. I don't think the broker wants you to see the spread, honestly, because the default is um, no ask price right here. Show ask. That is never on. Here comes a euro coming back to life here. So here's the top become a bottom on the tick chart, let's hope. This top becomes that so it breaks up pulls back to that breakout underneath this sellers come in there pull it back now we got to take this out this out could, could keep taking though it's a tick chart but that's the that's the pattern i'm looking at that's the classic um kind of end of a pullback so it's a very quiet situation and now it looks like we could keep tanking right now the longer it goes sideways the more chance there is for volatility to come in and rip it up and down that's just how it is at this time of night it's pretty it's pretty gentle you know it's very gentle market here but i think um you know if we take out the high of the day i don't think we're going to make it back to this price i think we could take out the high of the day and pull back to the high of the day and then keep going so i think that's a good ride to take okay looks like we're stabilizing here a little bit now pretty tough i got like 80 dollars 150 dollars of margin left i can use pretty brutally uh dry here but yeah it's um i'm not putting a hedge on here I mean, I could because it would, if it does keep going up, it would make money. And I guess I would accept the fact of getting trapped on the sell side here. About to take out that low. About to pick up this ticket. My limit's about to get filled here any second. Because they just took out the low there. Another five minutes down, I'm going to buy at the market pretty heavily. God, look at that. It didn't fill that limit. Look at that. Unbelievable. Can you believe that? They did not fill that ticket. Wow. See? They're working against me. Not only do they stop pump, but they won't fill my buy limits. It's fucking brokers. Jesus Christ. Come on, people. Anyways, here we go. Boom, finally got filled. That took forever. Anyways, we'll have to pick this up later. I'm going to fall asleep. That's about right where I want to be. 9400 bucks, 1850 margin, up 900 bucks. Uh, looking to go looking for this to go up into London I think we're too close to the high of the day I think it's a foregone conclusion we're going to tip into the window take out the high of the day take out the high of yesterday and go screaming north I just think it's a foregone conclusion I think uh, cat's out of the bag and we're going to go north that's all there's to it so I'm going to keep 
plugging away here. Uh, I guess I'm not going to buy any more if it closes up here in 15 minutes. So if we have 15 minute updates coming in. What do we got here? Okay. The 15 minute chart just updated. So we bought like we were supposed to. We finally got a chance on the 15 to buy. So there you go. Finally. I'll put more pennings in there. We'll load up on this super aggressive eight hour orders. It looks like we finally took out the last of the Mohicans on that one. Perfect. Here comes the 15 minute bots to save the day. 15 minute market bots are coming in right now. Okay. I think I can let that go. There's nothing I can do to make that any better. Seriously, that is just... <clears throat> There's nothing. I'm just not going to buy any more. Yeah, maybe one more. No. no, that's about it. I think we're going up here. Yeah, that's about it. So, hell, we're in more margin than we were before that blast. We made about five hundred bucks on that blast. I'm trying to get this account rock, and here we go. Look at that! Just tick chart just broke out. I'm gonna reject this bottom now. He's off to the races. Now we're going to beat the shit out of that top. The longer it sits there, the, the more vicious the move will be. The longer we sit here and tread water, the more brutal the conclusion of this would be. I think. It's pent up demand here. Almost the perfect top become a bottom on closing prices. Here's a perfect top become a bottom. It's the rhythm method. We finally got that stop. I'm not going to buy anymore unless it's down. And I'll, I'll still run the trailing buy limits. Maybe I'll run six pips for eight hours deep. Because we could still get some shenanigans uh, tomorrow. Jobs reports coming out. That's the only thing I think that comes out every Thursday at 8.30 Eastern Standard. That's a classic. And then I don't know if there's something on Friday or... That's just how it is, I think. Thursday is kind of like could be the turning point for other currencies. Could be the top of this one. It could be like... We get the Thursday in the Friday and we drift up and eh, maybe there's going to be hit my targets and then I'll just go flat. If I get to 11,000, I'll just go flat. You know, here we go. Look at this. Uh, look at that fucking tick chart rip now. 15 minutes of beautiful setup. 15 minute pullback. Boom. Bye. So I'm in big, so I'll babysit this account. I'll let this thing play out now. Tempting to buy here, but I bought quite a bit there. I had another 30K on that pullback. I think that's plenty. 20K, 30K, adding on to that thing. I am looking for the final goal post to be above the 100 Take a look here to the uh, larger time frames. That used to piss me off too. I used to watch the financial news. News. I had that running all day long. So I had the ticker tape, and they'd say this phrase. I think it was after the crash of 2008. They'd say, "Well, we're getting guidance." Guidance, guidance, and I thought, what is this guidance bullshit? The fuck? 
guidance. What is that? I, I can't even believe how the stock channel was just annoying. These people come on there like the you know, if you're still under the Kramer. Well, those stocks got to they didn't make the biggest dildos in time. Huh? Show me the chart. Shut up. Show me the chart. Stop it with this. Joe Kramer. That guy was on meth. Isn't he on meth or something? How does he remember all those stocks? Oh, you're talking about so-and-so. Dude, you know too much. Take a break. Stop with the mouth and take a fucking break. Well, we're above this breakout line. We're just holding above the high of that four-hour where all the scalpers had their heyday. Now they're having to buy it back. Was it worth it to be a seller there? No, I ask you. Sit down. Let me tell you something. Everybody sold up into this thing, and they're like, oh, maybe we should, uh, maybe we're just not going down to par after all. 15-minute guys have the ball now. Yep. Here they come. They're like the monkeys. Here they come, walking down the street. Here comes the bulls. Come on, guys. Come on, smart money. Remember we were up here? We were up there. I know. That's when we first met. <sighs> I know. But, you know, I know you now. You're boring me. So, we got to get this puppy over the goalpost. For the love of Pete, people. Oh, I have no patience for this shit. I know they can do it. Why won't they do it? What is wrong with people? They can't see a good opportunity. They're all waiting for confirmation. We gotta get this thing to close um in above the baseline. You know I don't get in unless my baseline's right. It's like using a level when you're building, you gotta have a level playing ground. <laughs> Jesus, come on, market. <sighs> yeah, it's not ever you know. When you're trying to get paid like this, it is slow money. We're nine pips from Target. Just give me nine pips, for God's sakes. Soros is sitting there. Soros is refusing to. Well, he has his ticket. What am I thinking? He's got his ticket here. They haven't hit his ticket. Wait till they get a load of that fucking ticket. Soros is pretty conservative. He's a... He's adopted the no-nonsense Elgo. He doesn't buy till it closes up here. He checks his ATR. <laughs> George is like... Yeah. No, actually... Was it George Soros? Somebody, some trader said, well, you know, when there's blood in the streets, right? So you're buying when it's just getting crushed. Or I guess you're selling when there's um, really hot girls in the street that aren't cut and bleeding. <laughs> wow. Well. See these trend traders? I'm a trend trader right now. I'm waiting for it to keep going up. See how painful this is? What, are you kidding me? You can't see the pain I'm in? 
Some guy said, I want you to see you trade with real money. I am, god damn it. Oh, come on. Here we go. I'm betting my reputation on this trade, for God's sakes. My market call. I'm a market wizard, god damn it. Well, there should be more of me. <laughs> they would be... I'm a stable genius, damn it. Come on, here we go. Here we go. Here comes the smart money. Yeah. The five-minute trader's on this. And here is 11 o'clock. Top of the hour. Um, psycho run. 15-minute traders are in. Five-minute traders are in. Top of the hour traders. Run for the exits. Five-minute chart. Wow. Oof. It's getting squirrely. About to get a pullback on the half hour. Here's a buy signal on the half hour setting up right now. Good Lord. Some people do streams and they just play music. I, was, I went to a guy's stream. It was 12 hours. He didn't say a fucking thing. He had six charts up there. Your, your old good old indicator list. Didn't say a thing. Bad music, too. Really inappropriate. Uh, sonically repulsive. Not tasty. Okay, we got two and a half minutes left here. For the if we if this market closes down in the half hour, we come in really big with a tight stop on the half hour. Fifteen's too late. Fifteen left the station. Half hour has not completed yet. We still have a viable buy here. So we wouldn't be chasing. It looks like you're chasing on the 15, but on the 30 minute, you're not. You're waiting two minutes now. We may not get our buy. So if you buy a little bit on the 15, and yeah, we have our trailing limits. Also notice no buy on the half hour for the last Two hours, there has not been one pullback we can buy. Half hour market orders come in buy and buy. Two buys is all you get. Can't buy that. Maybe breakout. Maybe your doji bot. Okay, we're one minute from a potential buy signal here. But I'm not going to do it. I don't think I'm going to buy here. I'm already in right where I want to be. They could still spike it down here. Okay, we just completed it. So I'll buy at the market. Here comes the half hour market bots. But if it's down in, in the other 15 minutes, then the 15 minute bots are going to come and watch. So we just updated the 15, the 5, the 1 minute. Everything just updated. So let's go to the 15. Oh, I'm sorry. That's all. That's not a buy on the 15. If it closes down here in 15 minutes, it will be a buy. That's how that works. All right. We just completed this candle. That was a buy. It's actually cheaper now than it was at the close of that. So it could keep tanking. That's why I wouldn't I wouldn't add to this position now. It's got to complete. In five minutes, we could buy on the five-minute chart if it's down. I could see that. So if you're buying every pullback, that means you're in one, two, three, K at the market. Buy, buy, buy. Waiting for this to close down. And letting you buy another p position here, possibly. Otherwise, if you're not going to chase it, you're only going to buy if it's down. 
I can't think of a simpler method. Very clear criteria. There's no ambiguity here. If it's down on the five minute and you're a bull, bye. If you can be awake, wake, awake for 24 hours, you know, there'd be a lot of tickets you'd have running, but I don't know, you know. If you're picking your spot and you're like, okay, we're going sideways, I'm going to buy the 15-minute pullbacks, I mean the 5-minute pullbacks, and I'll just, whatever the market tells me to do, just take the risk. Maybe, you're, maybe you do get stopped out, you're too stingy on the stop, maybe you're too wide. Maybe you pulled the trigger too many times. Look at this. Might even get another buy out of this thing. So in four minutes, if we're down, I'm definitely buying. Because we'd be down on the 15 then, too. I'll never turn down a good price. We still got 150 bucks margin available here. Okay, I'm tempted to buy this right here. Looks like we just took out that uh, wick from uh, 10 minutes ago. Beautiful. Let's get in. I'm going to wait for them to take out this wick and I'll buy at the market for sure. i got to make this a one pip deep ticket here. So getting the Positioning right on that and just being like, yeah, you know what? If it goes down below this, we got to get in there. So I do have a lot of tickets stacked up here. We could still crush into here before London opens. A big pack of limits pending right now. But if we, if we spike below that, I am going to buy some. Because we we ne we may never make it down that extra one and a half pips. So it looks like we're still walking down here. That was a nice run here, but just ran out of gas into this top. Now I think we do have to go after this low, hunt that down, take that low out. Yeah, this is um, just a real painful uh, consolidation. I just want to get paid. It's all right. Just uh, makes a better uh, case here. Plot thickens. Come down here. I'll do some anger trading there. Pull the trigger a few times. Right here, I got it queued up. Ready to pull a button. Eight pip stops. Pretty low risk. It's about a buck. Eight pip stop cost about a dollar. Alright. That looks like we're going to crush down here. We're going to get it. Go get it. Go get it, people. see him pop that stop off before I hit the buy button. It's probably going to pop hard down there. Still got another 20 pips to go north now. I should buy right now. There's five minutes down. Looks like we're not going to stop. Huh? So I'm buying because it's down in five minutes. We just updated the five minute chart. So on the 15, I think we just got to buy in the, no, on the five we got to buy. So I'm not going against my system here at all. So that's, I just bought a 2K there. You know, it all adds up. Nice triangle here on the five. Here's the looming vacuum. We could still crush into this. Oh, there we go. 
That's why I only, why I only bought a 2K there. So if we rock it here, if I'm a sniper, I'm going to pull the trigger if we dip below that. So minute by minute, another four minutes left to complete this bar. It closes up, I will not buy. It closes down, I will. There's a nice tight view. You can see the spread there. Turn on the ask line. Same thing here. When you get the platform, it's set up like this. That's completely retarded. I can't see the spread. I think the broker does that just to fuck you. And then people are buying and they're like, how come I'm, how come I'm underwater? What the fuck? Yeah, because you got to turn on the ask. Then you can see them fucking with the spread there. And by the way, this tick chart does not match this chart chart just to let you know even though that this claims this is the euro dollar these prices are not always the same it's hard to stare at both prices you got to take the tick chart over here okay look at this price you see the spread maybe maybe that maybe this broker doesn't do that but brokers you see how the this chart is different than this chart. So watch that. Tick chart's a little bit ahead of the chart chart. Right, they're in sync there. See, um, see the little lag there? You would think they'd be the same. And I'm not sure if the price is even the same there. I'd have to stare at it really closely. See if we get the same ask price here. Yeah. I think the tick chart's ahead of the chart because of the buffer. First place the ticks are stored, and then the chart maybe has to be built off that tick data. Here they're the same. Now, I've seen brokers where it's a different price. I think the tick chart's just a little bit ahead. A couple milliseconds ahead of the... Uh, it's weird. I thought that uh, red would be the bid. I think red, sell, blue, buy. I'd prefer that, but... This is hard coded in here like this. Nothing you can do about it. I always like my tick chart to be on the bottom. I always like my scripts on the right. So I figured this small time frame on the right, leading edge. Oh, they just took out that low. We'll buy another one. Better price. Plus I said I would buy if they took out that low. Okay, it looks like we're going to go up. I'll buy one more. That's uh, a little bit better price than that one. Look at that. Let's see, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. Ten minutes after the hour. Okay, if this five-minute chart closes up, no, no more buying. Five minutes from the 15-minute chart, giving us a buy. It has to close down. In five minutes, it has to close down to be a buy here on the 15. But look, we bought that wick. Because we bought on the five-minute market system. Now we got to clear the trees. The time's ticking. Closer to London. Europe open. Short squeeze. Short squeeze in effect, people. Stand back. Bring in the smart money. Time's ticking. Double bottom off this top. 
consolidation at an angle, lack of volatility. Let's 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 make um, volatility sexy again. Come on, people. Bring back volatility. Come on, people. Why do I feel like I'm just talking to myself? Why don't these traders listen, man? I try to explain this eight ways to Tuesday. Why are people paying attention? Not stupid like everybody says. Okay. There's nothing else I can do for this condition that we're in. That's about all you can do. So now we just sit back. Wait to get paid. If this closes down on the 15, that's spectacular. I might actually buy. If it stays here in the next four minutes, it's a valid buy on the 15. Might even be. Um, you see, this is a. I already know this is an Andrew Cardwell positive reversal trade here. This is zero. One, two. That's a two period reversal. How do I know? Because this is more oversold. See, this is a bigger down move than this move, but at a higher price. If this was to be more oversold and still higher than this price, then you'd take your line here and find the highest close projector here. So, without looking at Cardwell's stuff, any pullback that's more vicious than the last. Right? You don't need RSI to see this is a bigger down move by about a pip and a half than this move. And it's at a higher price, plus you have a top becoming a bottom. So you buy here with a stop here, that's giving if you had one if you had to trade one ticket. Um here you're waiting for the trend line to break and you're accumulating in anticipation of that. So I'd be buying this pullback and this pullback and say, you know, we're about to take out this trend line. Okay, 15-minute chart's going to update here in about uh, two minutes. Also buying that, I said I would buy this new low. So I'm building in this triangle. The sellers aren't having much luck. I mean, the scalpers did make their money all the way to here. You know, they sold this haul. And don't forget the guys that sold here that made money all the way to here. That is a good counter trend trade. There's no way around that. That's a spectacular trade. I back tested that and it just did you know what? You don't. When you sell up here, dude, and it comes back, you don't know how far it's going to come back, but it came back very good. Very well good. How did that not? How was that not the most stable genius fucking entry? Come on. It paid to here, and then the buyers came in here, ripped it. 15-minute drama. That looks like we're going to cave in now to the south. So much for that. I don't like it. It looks like it's going to tank, so I'm not going to buy any here. Looks like they're going to tank it now. I wanted to pull back um, and not close below there. I was looking for a slight pullback. That's too deep. So we could we could still tumble a little bit there. That is a nice big. That's a nice sell off. But so we're so heavy in now. And so big. And look at my limits just sitting here itching to get filled. I'll put another. It's been two hours since my first eight hours. So that's going to be six hours from expiration. I'm going to put in this. This 4K that goes pretty deep here. 
That's two pips deep. It looks like 30 pips deep. I'm zoom. Here's maximum zoom in. Maximum vertical zoom in. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to hold that. I wish I would have pulled back a little bit shallower there. That was quite a fierce pullback. Another stop hunt. Just like today, they keep taking it lower. They went just a little bit lower. Look at this beautiful inverted hammer on the five. How psychotic. So since I bought the five-minute pullbacks, I'm not going to add on the 15, I don't think. I got plenty of exposure here if we tank. So that's that's perfect. Slightly deeper than the last time I pulled the trigger on that. There's enough money in this account at this point. Those will be bonus. Okay. If this backs up more than that, it'd be bonus entry. So I said I was gonna stop recording this fucking thing, but I wanna I wanna get to the conclusion of this um bank manipulation. The reason I'm on drugs right now. I'm on eight different drugs because of the bankers. I fell off the wagon because of this fucking trade here. Okay. 12 minutes to the bottom of the hour. So I had to take out that high. We're just going to let this thing go. Can't stop it. The unstoppable market. So that's it. I'm going to let them. It's it's a do or die here. Really not much I can do about it. I got my limits down there. So if they pull it back. I got eight hours for them to pull it back. Or we're going to go north. So one or the other. So much I can do here. So look at the uh, one hour chart now. Not even a chance to pull back here. It'll be 40 minutes here. So I'd have to sit here for 40 minutes for this to be down. I don't think it's going to happen. Look at the tick charts taking off right now. Could be leaving the station of this triangle in the five minute we've been forming. So this is it right here. Gotta break that out. 